Saturday, October 2nd, and I'm just getting ready for my day. I don't have anything big planned. Um, I went to the public library yesterday and took out a couple of books because during the month of October, I always like to have either a spooky book or a mystery book um, to read throughout the month of October because it just seems like at this time of year it's just the perfect time to read a mystery, suspense, or something a little bit spooky. Now when I'm saying spooky I'm not saying terrifying <laughs> or scary. Um, I don't care for books that have a lot of detailed graphic violence in them. Um, recently, a lot of books that have come out have been about serial killers and the way they describe the murders in such precise detail is too much for me. So that's not my idea of uh, reading enjoyment. Anyways, I got this book it's called The Winter People. Um, it's by Jennifer McMahon and I'll just read a little part of the back. It says, West Hall, Vermont has always been a town of strange disappearances and old legends. The most mysterious is that of Sarah Harrison Shea, who in 1908 was found dead in the field behind her house just months after the tragic death of her daughter, Gertie. Um, now in present day, 19 year old Ruthie lives in Sarah's farmhouse with her mother. And I won't keep um, reading, but it starts talking about um, Ruthie finding a copy of Sarah Harrison Shea's diary in the floorboards of her mother's bedroom and she gets sucked deeper into the mystery of Sarah's fate. So, and she has to stop history from repeating itself. So that to me sounds like a really interesting sort of spooky kind of read for the month of October. So I did get that from my library. I love the library. I'm a big fan of libraries in general. And then I also got this book uh, by Tana French called The Searcher. I've been reading all of her um, suspense mysteries in order, and this is the next one. I'm actually kind of spacing them out because I really enjoy reading them so much that I don't want the series to end without me having anything further to read. So I, I usually read one book and then I uh, will read other books 
and then come back to the series and um, read another one. And I've been doing the same thing with uh, the Louise Penny Inspector Gamache books. I love them so much. If you want to read Cozy Mystery um, for the month of October, I highly recommend that series, the Inspector Gamache series. Um, I've read maybe seven or eight of the books and there's still quite a few more to read. Um, but again, that's another one that I'm trying to space out because I really don't want it to end. So the other thing that I like to do in the month of October, well, I kind of oscillate between wanting something cozy and wanting something spooky. Because to me, October is that month of coziness, but it's also a month of spookiness. So I kind of go back and forth between the two. Um, so I, I made a list. I went online and made a list of spooky or scary movies um, to watch during the month of October. And I plan on watching at least the first episode of the series. Netflix every year in October comes out with like a spooky or scary type of series. So three years ago or two years ago was The Haunting of Hill House. And then last year, I forget what the name of it was, but there was a kind of a follow up to that. And then now this year, um, they have another one that started yesterday, October 1st. And what is it called? Um, it's called Midnight Mass. So um, I am going to start watching that. Kind of want to spread that one out as well. And I also want to watch Wayward Pines on Disney Plus. I think it's on Disney Plus. And it's uh, a series starring Matt Dillon based on the book by Blake Crouch. And I have read a few of Blake Crouch's books and really enjoyed them. I think they're excellent, but I haven't read that one. And I'm glad I I didn't because this one is again kind of supposed to be suspense and you don't really know what's going on. So I'm going to start watching that series as well. So I'm going to kind of try to spread them out through the month and watch a scary or spooky um, episode each day throughout the month of October. So tonight it's going to be at least one episode of Midnight Mass and an episode of Wayward Pines. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to do today. I'm definitely going to knit more on my Love Note sweater. I cast that on yesterday. Then I attended the cast on party, which was just um, like a, um, a YouTube live session with Nicole from Professor Pearl. So I got a bit more done during that session and hopefully I'll get a bit more of that done today. And other than that, I don't have a ton of things planned, which is kind of the way I like to roll. I don't always like to have my weekends all planned out, but we'll see, we'll see what happens.